people, they love to go for outdoor climbing and they don't know how they have to start. Climbing is um, some kind of an inspiration for me. It brings the sparkle of the life. You're feeling very alive when you're up there. And actually, you don't have a chance to be somebody else, but just to be yourself. Uh, how can I say climbing is bringing the uh, uh, inner child from yourself and you just have to be yourself. I live in London from two years exactly. When I came here uh, during the first year I was changing so many jobs but now I decided to be, um, how can I say, honest with myself and to do what I really enjoy and like to do. So I decided to go and do some climbing. is attached to me because this is the main rope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Good. And I'm safe. Hey. My name is Alex. I'm climbing about 20 years. I born in Tehran capital of Iran and I started hiking when I was 14 years old and I was lucky because around my place it was a lot of nice cliff and rock and nice many nice routes for hiking and then I came in UK I didn't know really how can I start for rock climbing because I didn't know anyone any climber and slowly slowly I find some people as a friend. I was starting to work in my second uh, climbing instructor job. It was in Crystal Palace. And then Mona was one of the person every week coming for climbing. And I was thinking many people want to go for outdoor climbing. We can go because I had a lot of experience about 18, 17 years for outdoor climbing. Me and Mona, we started to make this club, what we call Black Lizard. Rock climbing, especially rock climbing outside, is still quite an exclusive sport. It's not accessible for everyone. And yeah, the main aim of the club is really to make rock climbing and the outdoors more accessible nice to everyone. And especially to unlikely climbers who maybe feel excluded because of the jargon or maybe there's a language barrier when you come from another country or you have a disability or you have mental health problems and you just find it hard to get into it because rock climbing has such huge benefits to not your physical health only also to your mental health Yes, exactly. I remember when I came in this country and I was very new in this country. I love to go for outdoor climbing, for rock climbing, but unfortunately I didn't know anyone. I didn't know the area and I had a lot of barrier. And I was thinking I can remove this type of barrier for other foreign and other people. They don't know how they can start. It. Our plan to have a gear bank where members can borrow gear and also put up their own gear for other members to borrow. And not having the gear is also a huge barrier on accessing the outdoors. 
My name is Georgi, Bulgarian, living in London, ex-uni student now, and uh, amateur climber. I think I started about maybe three years ago. Started out quite slowly and then uh, built up to about two or three weekly visits of a climbing gym. Black Lizard, for me, this is some kind of a product of our friendship. I met Mon and, and Alex um, when I went to give it a go for a climb in Crystal Palace. I've known one of the founders of Black Lizard, Alex, even before he founded the club itself. Uh, we used to be colleagues as um, lifeguards. The same year we decided to um, do our first outdoors and it was really enjoyable. And after that we decided that we're going to spend the summer like that. And we were climbing Harrison rocks, farm rocks, upper rocks. We went to Snowdonia. I really like climbing because climbing brings me uh, friends. I met Mon and Alex and now I end up here and <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. At the moment we have about 42 members. I really love to have 400 or more than this. This is our aim and I love to have many trips even out of the UK in the Alps or south of America. Alex is one of the best persons that I know. He's my teacher. I really like the way he explains the things to you because it's so simple and you can absorb the information so quickly. Mona is the same. Basically our friendship starts when we were cheering after the routes. For example, she's on the wall and she just finished the route and I was like, Mona, well done, that was so good. And she's just coming back down on the ground with big smile. And we just inspire ourselves like that. And I don't know, I'm very thankful that I have them. One of the things is very important for me, good relationship between the members and the people coming in the, our club, they feeling they are in the one big family.